Welcome to Mancinelli's Math Lab. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Not a requested video, but I did want to cover it to show you the power of the Darth Vader rule. So here's the question I'm looking at, and I am given a picture. Now keep in mind, this is the CDF of my random variable X. So of course it is continuous, and it does make sense because you can see uh, as X goes to infinity, uh, f of x tends to 1. That's always a good sign. Um, and we're interested in um, the expected value of x. So we could use our typical definition of the expected value of x, or we could use the Darth Vader rule, which is what I will use. Okay, so as I mentioned before, it's 0 to infinity. Now be careful. Um, if it doesn't start at 0, you need to modify this. So I'd urge you to look at that. But we start at 0. And we're going to go off to infinity, although I don't have any values after 3. So the formulation is 1 minus uh, the CDF with respect to x. Okay. And by the way, uh, this formulation, this thing in the integrand right here, is the survival function. This is the survival function. Survival function. God, I hate spelling. Anyways, this is what we have. So we're only going from 0 to 3. So this is equal to 0 to 3 of 1 minus f of x dx. Easy peasy so far. However, we don't have a formulation for f of x. No big deal. No big deal. This is equal to, I mean, how good are you guys at calculus? Hopefully you're pretty good. I mean, integral of 1 from 0 to 3. That's just the length of the interval. So that's just 3 minus the integral 0, 3, f, x, dx. Now, if only I took calc 1 and I knew what the definition of a definite integral was. Hmm. Let's see. The definite integral means find the area under the curve, capital F of X in this case, going from zero to three. Find the area under the curve. Huh. Can I find the area under this curve? Can I find this area? Do I even know geometry? Yes, I do. I know a little bit of geometry, but this is equal to the following. Three minus, I can find areas. I mean, wow, how nice, how nice. Let's label some things. This distance right here, of course, is a distance of two. And this distance right here, of course, is a distance of 0.5. So that area there is, well, it's a rectangle. So two base times width, two times 0 0.5. Plus, we're gonna get a little tricky here. This is a what type of geometric figure? Well, that length is one. This length is one, and this length we already did is 0.5. It's a trapezoid. This is a trapezoid. It's the area of a trapezoid. It's one half times the sum of the bases. The bases are one plus 0.5 times the height. I mean, this should be easy peasy for you. One half times the sum of the bases, one plus 0 0.5 times the height, which is one. I'm done. I just Simplify that, I'm good to go. I'm gonna be so nice today, I'm just gonna do it for you. This is three minus two times a half is one. So one plus, this is 1.5 divided by two, uh, which is 0 0.75, which is equal to three minus 1.75, which is 1.25. That's my answer. Makes sense? Man, I hope this makes sense. I hope you will use this type of technique in the future. It can save you time. It can make problems much more efficient. Tell me what you think about the video. Thank you for subscribing.